All right, boys and girls, make sure you have your whiteboards, your markers, and your erasers. So pause the video until you're ready. We're gonna work on our sight word sentences. Um, and a couple of other things. So let me change some stuff here, don't look. Okay. All right. So while we're working on our sight word sentences, we're also going to review a couple things about um, making a sentence and um, how that works. Okay. So we got six new sight words this week. We have six new sight words this week. Can you tell me what they are? Make. Play. Them. Them say, give, and new. Remember, that's like um, I got a new book bag or I have new gloves, right? It's not I knew it. That's spelled a different way. So this new is um, when you purchase something and it's new to you. My, my mom gave me a present um, and it is new Pokemon cards, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you one thing. How many words are up here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four sentences. Six words, four sentences. Hmm. What's the matter? I'm good. You can't all yell at me. Um, Brayden, what did you see? The last sentence. Oh, it has two blanks. Oh, so two of the words are going to go down here. Okay. So it's really important when you have something like this, six words, and four sentences that you cross them off as you use them, right? Because we are going to use all six words. We have one, two, three. Uh oh. No, we're not. Oh, we did. I, I missed a sentence. I missed a sentence. All right. Well, maybe we'll figure out a sentence for that word all on our own. What do you think? All right, here we go. Let's get to it, though. All right, so, um, Troy, can you read this sentence for me? Oh, you have trouble seeing that? Okay, hold on. I'll make it darker. Sorry. How's that? Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, Troy. Can I blank? Hmm. Can I make? It's not really a sentence, right? Because make what? Can I play? Yep. That's what works there. Play. P L A Y. Can I play? Hmm. And I have a question mark, right? Because it's a question sentence. I'm asking for information. Can I play? But there's still a problem with our sentence. Do you see the problem with our sentence? It was a problem you guys were having a lot the other day. What happens at the start of a sentence? What should this letter look like? It should be a capital, right? Because it's the start of a sentence. So that should be a capital letter. Can I play? Okay, did you get it? And we crossed off play, so we know we don't, we're not using that anymore. All right, the next sentence. Um, let's go with Luca. Luca, are you ready? <sighs> Av. Blank. Ooze. 
Okay, say it one more time. I have blank shoes. All right, I have make shoes. No. I have them shoes. No. I have say shoes. None of this is making sense. I have give shoes. I have new shoes. Good job. It's new, N E W. I have new shoes. Mr. Edgar said I have enough shoes, by the way. I disagree. But he's a guy. Okay. All right. We will blank cookies. Let's see. We have make them say give. Which one do you think? We will blank cookies. It could be. Hmm. Uh, we will make cookies. I think that's it. We will make cookies. M A K E. We will make cookies. Addie, did you make cookies while we were on this little snow break? You're always writing sentences about making cookies. So I was wondering if you were making cookies during this snow break. I made pumpkin bread. Because um, on snow days, I make pumpkin bread. Not real pumpkin bread, um, but I use the box. But we like to have warm pumpkin bread in the morning on a snow day. I don't know how that started. It's just what we do. Okay, boys and girls, I do have my punctuation. I'm not sure if you can see it, right? Make sure you have your punctuation on your sentence. But what else is wrong with my sentence? Can anybody tell me? How about um, Teresa? You're next at that table. Teresa, what's wrong with my sentence? It's in the first word. What's the matter with the first word? Very good. The W, right? Because it's the start of a sentence needs to be capitalized. We will make cookies. So if you didn't make the W capital, make sure you change it. It's not a lowercase w because it's the start of a sentence. So it has to be an uppercase. Okay, now we're up to them say give. But we only have two lines, so we're going to have to figure this out, okay? Um, whose turn is it? It's Valentina's turn. Oh. Valentina, we will blank, blank to you. All right. Let's see. How should we do this? We will them say to you? No. We will say them to you? No. I don't think say works, right? We're looking for a verb. We will there has to be an action word here. Them is not an action word. That's a pronoun, right? It, it tells you about people. Say is an action word. That's your talking, right? And give is an action word. I can give you my marker. Here, Teresa, take it. Teresa, get, get the mark. It's right, Teresa. You know, Teresa, you're supposed to do what your teacher tells you. Now take, take the marker. Next time, you'll have to grab it. This is a good marker. It's green, too, my favorite color. All right, so if we will say to you, we will give to you. So we only need one verb. Okay, so either give or say is going to go there. And then here, that's not a verb, so that's our word that's left. That's them. All right. We 
will blank them to you. Okay? Because the verb goes here. There's only one verb in the sentence. The verb goes here, so we know this can't be a verb. Okay? So now we have, we will blank them to you. We will say them to you. Or we will give them to you. Give. Good job. That was a hard sentence. I don't know what Mrs. Hedegar was thinking when she wrote that one. Hmm. But we still have that one word left, right? Say. Hmm. Let's see. A sentence for say. Can you think of a sentence for say? Can you write that sentence on your whiteboard? Can you write a sentence for say? I'm going to think of mine, but if you thought of yours already, you write yours down. I'm going to think of mine. Say. I say to go. No, that doesn't sound right. I say. Hmm. We say. What do we say, though? Hmm. We say. So we say what, though? What do we say? We say we. We say we. All right, so let's try this. We say. Okay, but what? What do we say? We say. Um, so it has to be something we say. We say, we love, using good use, what do we love? We say, we love, oh, I know what we love. I know some of you, I can hear some of you yelling, God, or mom, or dad. I went with OLGC because that's a place where we can be together. There's a problem with my sentence. Can you find it? Can you find the problem with my sentence? Hmm. This is a capital W, but that's the start of the sentence. So that's okay. This is okay. This W? What about this W? Right, it should not be capital. We say we love OLGC. These are capital because they're a name, right? Our Lady of Good Counsel, that's a name. So that's allowed to be capitalized if it's not the start of a sentence. But only the first letter at the start of a sentence should be capitalized, unless you're using a name. All right, boys and girls, here's what I need you to do. I need you to go to your homework journal, and I would like you to write sentences for all of our new sight words this week. That was going to be your, uh, if we had a full week, that would have been your homework anyway. Um, I want you to try and do it on your own, okay? Um, so use your sight word ring because that will help you. We have a lot of words in your sight word ring that you can use in your sentences, right? There's a lot of sight words in these sentences. So I want you to try it by yourself. Go use your homework journal and write sentences for the sight words for this week.